Dead and Hip Hop album review. I know y'all motherfuckers want this one. Earl Sweatshirt, Feet of Clay. Before we get into the review, look, man, support your boys. Patreon, go to Patreon. Support monetarily if you can. If you can't, that's cool too. Uh, changes, by the way, on Patreon coming soon. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's also supporting. Just watch us, like it, comment, subscribe to us. All of that is in support. However, I do want to challenge y'all. If y'all did like the track by track review and y'all want to see more of that, Support this project here by getting us to 10,000 likes. If we can get to 10,000 likes, that shows that you want that and we will provide it for you. So if you can get Earl Sweatshirt Feet of Clay to 10,000 likes, we rarely ever hit 10,000 likes on any review. If we could do that, then we might start doing that a little bit more. Yeah, so this album starts with 74. And what was mad interesting, right? Like most intros, you get a little bit of music. You know what I'm saying? That plays. This nigga said, fuck the music, nigga. I'm, I'm getting straight to the rhymes. Shit, you got it. This shit's only 14 minutes. I know. Right. I know, right? <laughs> like, 15 minute long, se uh, seven tracks. It is an EP, right? They, they're considered oh, EP? EP. So, all right. So, e EP mm -hmm. review. Here's my thing with Earl, man. Like, honestly, I, I, I don't get what the fuck the motherfucker's rapping about. Like, I don't. I didn't get it on the last one. I think, Mike, you broke down the last one the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't understand Earl. You Ever? Huh? You never have? Or, uh, it's or been a minute a since. It, yeah, recent Earl. Odd Future. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When, when they was all together, I felt like I understood Earl a little bit more. Yeah. I don't understand this new Earl and his music. But where I do give him props is these beats were super, super, super weird. Like, I don't know any other artist that would pick this collection of production. And the way he can flow on this shit, it's 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 only Earl that can do it. But I I just I don't like it because I don't understand it. It's like, what the fuck is he rapping? <laughs> like, this shit don't bump in the whip. It's it's weird. It's oh, it don't bump in the whip out the <laughs> gate. <laughs> not bumping in the whip. It's not. You know, like the horns on East, the little bouncy circus thing. You know, like that? Nah, man. I can't I can't pull up to nowhere bumping this shit like that. Not loud like that. <laughs> Where's the where's the thump gonna come from? Yeah. That accordion? The, right. <laughs> That's one of my favorite tracks on there. I like that shit though. East, yeah, East. Like yeah, I like it. You like that shit, man. Man, 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 man. Once well, you pull up to like a, a, a Turkish you party, kidding. I can't like, Yo, that's that shit. You fucking kidding? Yeah. Me. You don't like that shit? I do. I do. I don't know, man. It's so funny. Like when this shit came on, it was like. So it like it was like all of my obviously it stands out just uh, in my yeah. ear. And I was like, damn, this is kind of cool. Dude, I like, like the shit. Hmm. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not the shit, but. <laughs> <laughs> damn, you do. Nah, man. You on the island with that? Yeah, one. you would. You. I don't I'm know. kinda with Ken. Okay. You, you kinda, I hated it when I first heard it. I don't think it's dope or nothing. <laughs> right, right, right. But I hated it when it first came out. I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. But it grew on me. Now I think it's kinda cool. Yeah. I wouldn't have a problem with it if it was layered. Like if it was like something else surrounding it or yeah, something. Yeah, if there were you know drums. Yeah, if it was like some drums on it, that would be kind of, it would be really cool, but it didn't, that's all it had. It's like, okay. Yeah, you're basically just rhyming over an accordion. Yeah. How many listens did it take for you to get to the point where you can accept it? Yeah, I mean, maybe three or four. Mm -hmm. I jammed it twice in a row the first time I put it on, mm -hmm. just because I was confused. So did you become unconfused? Because I'm still confused. And I <laughs> well, confused about, well, we're confused in two different ways, though. Because you're confused about what he's rapping about. I mean, I understand what he's rapping about. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole, um, you know, it sounds like he's had some problems or has some problems with, with alcohol. Um, he's clearly got some depression issues based around his father. Um, it sounds like a lot of this is about personal loss. So that part didn't confuse me. The part that confused me more so was, you know, I loved some rap songs. Um, me too. So I figured he was gonna stay in that kind of experimental lane, but I feel like this one kind of went a little bit too far even for me. Mm. Cause I don't think the rapping, even though what he was saying was dope, the lines were dope, but I think how he was placing them wasn't dope to me. That's how I feel about it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I feel like I feel when, I, when I put this on, the first thing I heard was, and I know this is gonna sound disrespectful, I really don't mean it to be, but it sounds like he heard Billy Woods and was like, oh, I kinda wanna kinda go in that direction, but he's not placing his bars the way Billy Woods would mm -hmm. like when you were saying like I can't see any other rapper that could do this accordion beat. Oh, Billy Woods could freak that. Yeah, beat. yeah. But I feel like the way Earl did it, I don't know that sloppy is the right word. Mm -hmm. 
but his lines just didn't really fit and that's, to me. That's, that's what I was going to say. Like, basically what you're saying, but what I was going to say is, is like, I like the way he wrote this album. Yeah. I don't like the way he rapped this album. 100% Maybe that's what it was. 100% yeah. with Maybe yeah. that's what it was yeah. for me, because I was just like... <clears throat> Cause I mean, yeah, of course I love some rap songs yeah. too, and I mean, I mean, yeah, Earl is rapping, but I'm like, something is, I couldn't pinpoint. I was just like, something is off about this album. I said, I don't know, is it about Earl that's so like off? Just the rapping is just. So, so, I think that's okay. what it is. I don't know. Like when I listen to it and I listen to these beats and how weird they were, mm -hmm. I felt that. Earl at times kind of he found or created weird pockets for himself. He now did. I, I didn't necessarily like love it, but mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, like that's. That's weird and creative. Mm -hmm. Tisk, like Tisk I, and Matoon. Those oh, are the only man, two yeah. where I feel like he really found a pocket. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. like on the rest of this, it sounded like Earl was just kind of like buried beneath all the weirdness that was happening. I felt that on Matoon, he, he, he actually stands out. I mean, on Tisk, too. Tisk, he really stands out. The interesting part about the way you worded that is that based on the content, Earl is underneath all the shit that he's going through. Yeah, you know that was it was kind of when he said that. I, that's the first thing I thought about. I was like, all the shit that he's going through that he's writing about, it kind of makes sense uh, sonically that he would be sure. underneath that and everything else would be piled on top. So. Can anybody connect the whole feet of clay thing at all? I don't know what that is. Yeah, what's feet of clay? <laughs> yeah, it's like like the head of gold, the feet of clay, point you out the biblical verse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that's what he was talking about. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's what he's talking about, but I, that's why I was asking, did, did that connect in any way? No, because I don't really remember the details of that biblical allegory. I mean, exactly what, what uh, Mata said behind the camera. Like, I, I really feel like that his rapping, he didn't find his pockets that much on this short <laughs> project. Um, yeah, Matum was is one of my favorite uh, produced joints on there, of course. Um, I, you know, Alchemist did the laced them up with that one, that nice, beautiful sample. 4N was cool, I just think it, they took too long, him and Makami got, took too long getting into the track. And that's the longest track. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. that one. Yeah, I like it too, but I was just like, God damn, like, okay, like, start start the rap. But <laughs> yeah, yeah the I mean. wasn't that hot, you know, you let, let it ride that oh, Right, 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 you know, it's like, okay, <laughs> come on, like, I need, I, need to, I need to get some lyrics, I need to get some words with this, but yeah, like, you can definitely tell that like, Earl is going through some shit you know, personally on, you know, listen, even coming from some rap songs. Mm -hmm. and I love some rap songs. And in this one, I'm like, okay, cool. Earl is rapping, but he just don't sound like he in his pocket or something. Like something just don't sound great. Well, that's why I said the yeah. feet of clay thing, because like, that's like a, like a fundamental flaw or, or, yeah. or something in a person. So yeah. I was wondering if he was trying to play on that with this. Really? Listen, uh, on Apple Music, um, that, the or he read the origins of the phrase feet of clay which mm -hmm. he first heard in passing from his mom mm -hmm. and he felt like it was an apt, descri apt description of the apprehension he battled while attempting to make music after his father's mm -hmm. death and he said that shit is from the book of daniel and the feet of clay were at the bottom of an idol that the king of babylon had dreamed about right so yeah i get trying to make an album like that but, but why do you think that would be appealing to someone I don't think he cares. He yeah, yeah. So I guess that's what it is. So, then. Yeah, I think he's not on. I think this is. I think this is his first release. I mean, releasing the project with not being on the label. So like, mm -hmm. he's just like, "Fuck, I'm doing whatever the hell I want to do and make whatever music I want to make." Well, and that's one of the notes that I that I had here is mm -hmm. that you know at, at this point, it feels like Earl is just really an artist that's just writing music for him Definitely. to get these thoughts and and these emotions out on paper. Mm -hmm and to put them to music and however distorted the music is or whatever he wants to produce um and i don't think he really cares about um like accessibility or people mm -hmm. liking it mm -hmm. yeah. um and that was kind of one of the, the things that i walked away from this project mm -hmm. wondering is like his fan base like what do they look like now because he came in like acquiring kind of a mainstream underground fan base when uh our future was you know growing and bubbling up being and like now, yeah, and people will rock with him, and it seems like every time he drops a project, mm -hmm. we get, you know, tons of tweets and stuff about it. But the music is shifted so far left. It's like, are those original people still around? After I, I was listening to this, I'm like, I remember when people were putting Earl up there as like one of the greatest lyricists and stuff like that, mm -hmm. up and coming, this, that, and third. And then after these last two projects, for me, I'm just like, is. Do we still hold him up there? Is it like? Oh, yeah, he still got bars. Oh yeah. Bro. No, that's what I was saying. Like, the the writing is there. Yeah. yeah. The writing is yeah. there. It's just yeah. the way he's delivering the, yeah. the words. That that's what's 
for me personally, that's what's off yeah, with I, this album. And I, and I, I mean, know. you can, I can't blame it on you can't you say a production because he's rapped over stuff like <clears> this before and sound like great. I mean, hell, this last album is a prime example. Uh, you no, know? nah, I but, disagree. But yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I, I disagree. I, disagree. Only, yeah. I think these beats are even more sparse than mm-hmm. what he was doing on some rap songs. Yeah, I feel like when you put some rap songs, like the songs, even though they're weird as fuck. I think they're all holding hands and they all like bring you in yeah. and you get sucked into a mood. Mm-hmm. With this one, I don't really get sucked into any mood. I'm just like, I don't really yeah. know what you're going for. All the songs sound like they're clashing with each other. Mm-hmm. Like there's no cohesion here mm-hmm. as far as sonics go. Oh no, I'm just talking just Earl rapping Kate Billy over weird production. No, I know, but I, I think these beats are even weirder than anything oh, yeah, else he's ever, yeah. he's ever I mean, rapped East over. is a prime example. I was just like, what the? But, I mean, the second it started with with seventy four, I was just like seventy four was okay, but East was really good. I didn't hear I didn't hear a off. tangible flow. Mm-hmm. I just heard him just rapping. Mm-hmm. Again, for from my perspective, because I know I'm I'm on the island on this one is like the greatness of Earl. Like I, I just I no longer hear the greatness or the next. I don't know, bro. The I'm, the I'm Mary, just saying, the, me. The, the phones got you living vicarious. Or the shit that about was, his that, dad. That, that, that was the that was Piscean. We still got bones to pick out, like. Piscean, just like my father, we still got bones to pick out. He, and I'm like, not, he's got plenty of bars. And I'm mm-hmm. saying, I, and I'm not saying that he's bar less. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying, like, from where, from where I remember him in the Our Future Days to where he is now, mm-hmm. it's just, it's a completely different artist. And I know that you're supposed to grow and evolve and change and discover and find yourself in your music, but I just, I, I don't know how, how high in regard I could hold him. You because know, of the production, I guarantee. Yeah, okay. If you added some drums. Or you took his verses and you put them over different production. I don't know that you would really be like, I don't really know how high to hold Earl because I think you're kind of basing it on your enjoyment of this project. I think it's the you know production and the and the way he's delivering the the, the rhymes. Like you said, but the, I think the, the thing can, you're, I'm the, sorry, I'm verse, sorry. No, no, it's cool. Like the way you, the verse the verse you just quoted, you really have to dig and hear that. I think. I think bars jumped out. I think quite a few bars jumped out. Like the, the niggas kicking at the roadblocks. Like I think mm-hmm. that there are a lot of bars that jump out. Mm-hmm. I think that if the production turns you off initially, mm-hmm. you're not even gonna notice those bars yeah. because the production is so off-putting. Yeah, I, I think it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of with Rod. Like I think, kind of like in the middle of both yeah, of you guys, uh, really. Um, because you do have to dig. Yeah. The rhymes are there. The production is off-putting. Like this whole thing has a very incoherent feel to yeah. it that that makes it somewhat hard to digest. Yeah. But once you get past that and kind of start to listen to like what he's saying and how he's rhyming, or the mm-hmm. things he's rhyming about, I should say, then you kind of hear like, okay, yeah, he, he's still that nigga. Like he's still. Got it. So those were some of the things that, as I was listening to this, I was wondering and questioning um, just about Earl overall. So I'm kind of with you. But again, like he, in, in terms of rhyming, you know, it's, he's still there. It's just stylistically, production-wise, right. mm-hmm. uh, his 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 mind right now. Yeah. It's just Earl is literally doing shit for Earl. No, for wow. sure. I think if you sat down, you read exactly. like the lyrics, you'd be like, wow, he's really on some like. Yeah weird poetic kind of profound mm. type shit it's just yeah. the way he's rapping it on this project it doesn't make you it doesn't make you really even want to care yeah because yeah. it, it almost sounds like he doesn't care yeah like he's very monotone he's very withdrawn when he's rapping and the music like lo-fi like yeah. it's not like he reverses to the night like this and shit like you yeah. know what i'm saying it's like it's like he don't really care like he, he's really like he doesn't care like about the production value of it, about just get he just want to get it out yeah. or whatever. So, which I don't even think that that. I mean, it definitely sounds that way, mm-hmm. but I don't think that that's really what he, what it is. I think he cares. I think that to, to him, mm-hmm. I think that he's got a lot of emotions, and he probably thinks that he's conveying them in the best way with this project. Mm, I it's just that. that the audience, when we hear it, we don't know the details of right. what's happening. So when we hear it, we're just like. It doesn't really sound like you're putting too yeah. much into this. Yeah. But I think that he's probably he probably thinks in his mind that this is very detailed. No, I think he thinks that too. But I also think that he doesn't care about the way we receive it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he cares a lot about what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, and I think he I think he put some thought into 
trying to match what he's saying and feeling with the music. I think yeah. he, he put thought into that, but I think what he didn't put thought into is like how we feel about it, you know, as the listener. B, what you think about El Toro Combo Mule? I thought it was cool. Is that the I one mean, with the dude, Ma Mavi? Mavi yeah. was dope. Yeah, yeah. Mavi was I like dope. him. He did sound like Earl, but it was a lot. It was a lot more, like clear. Yeah, a lot more energy. Yeah, it was more yeah, energy in his in his verse. To, the, to his verse, but yeah, I thought it was, I thought that I thought that was I like the, the yeah. Larry Oops line. Uh, nah, which one, nah. Which one, uh, the 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 basketball shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Pissing the shit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I was asking you, man. I'm like yeah. tossing this yeah, like, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about Earl or when? Ma Earl. I think that was Mavi that was nah, saying that. Earl shit. did yeah, the, That was Earl. Earl, yeah, Earl yeah, did the chain. They, they do sound a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Mavi. Nah, that was yeah. Damn. But that was that was cool. I like. See, look at it. Look at it. Now you perfect. I thought you said Earl ain't got it no more. About the sports though. This shit like okay. I'm not saying he has zero lines. I nah. didn't say he has zero, no bars. I didn't. I said he wasn't bar less. He yeah. had some bars on there. It's just and he like, said Chauncey Phillips and still a Phillips. Phillips mm -hmm. yeah. I was just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Such was the style, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. But the dude Mobby though, that's not sleep on the dude Mobby's verse. Did y'all catch the the Larry Johnson line where he like Larry oops and then he said uh, like it about his grandma mom passing. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I remember that shit. Oh shit, yeah, I remember that shit too. Man, yeah. I was like, this dude Mavi is fucking cause stupid, the grandma, bro. My Larry, yeah. yeah, the yeah, grandma that's, mom and Larry that's a, Oops. That's a, that's a, yeah, I was that's like, dope. shit. I kept waiting for this to click. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I, I didn't, we didn't get a lot of tweets about this that I saw, but a couple of people were just like, oh man, just rock your alley. You gonna love this. All right, cool, I'm gonna jump on it. <laughs> when I listened to it, I was just like, I could see why people would think mm -hmm. I would love this, but. Yeah, I thought you was gonna like it. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't do it for me. I wish I liked it more. I, I saw it got good reviews around. I didn't read any of the reviews, but I saw that that the numbers and stuff were good for on this project. Album. I yeah. think really? Earl will generally get good reviews. Oh, for real. Mm -hmm. I think he will because I don't think people want to appear like they don't get it. So I think it might be some <laughs> right. going on. A lot of times you have that factor of. If it confuses the shit out of you, you're automatically gonna say it's really dope because you don't understand. Yep. It. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's what everybody's doing, yeah. but I know exactly to yep. the T what Ken is talking about. Mm -hmm. You don't want to appear like you too stupid to yep. get. You're like, yeah, man, this shit is brilliant. Yeah. Right. What's yeah. brilliant about it though? I'm, I'm like, going down. What's this song about? I'll say. I ain't get that shit. <laughs> this shit is not getting a good review from me. I, I, like, I'm, I'm not gonna be one of those posers to be like, oh yeah, you know, yeah, it was confusing, but it's a man. I think you should go back and read the lyrics though. He did like a lot of sports references in there, and, and like, it, the, the lyrics are there, bro. Like, no doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt, the lyrics are there. It's very clear what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's yeah, what I said. Like, he's not bar less. It's just, yeah, it, I know. Yeah. It's no, just he not. Didn't really understand what he was rapping yeah. about. Yeah. I'm saying, if you read it, yeah, I think it, you would. it's yeah. very clear. Yeah. It's very it's clear. really clear once you read mm -hmm. it. He's coded. But I think you would get it if you read it. Nah, for sure. I think I, the production I, I, just makes you be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 one hundred percent. The first time I listened to it, it was like three times in a row, and I'm just that's why I did look at the lyrics because it was short. It was short, and and I was like, man, come on, man, this something, is not something is missing. Something like, is something. missing here. Like I'm missing something, so I had to go read them. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I read them last night. If it's an Earl project, I'm gonna read the lyrics because he's he's way too coded for me. Exactly. Not to. Yeah. You know, if this was a KRS One project, nah, I don't have to read the lyrics because you you hear what he's saying. Right, mm -hmm. he's straight to the point. He's on the nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Earl, you have to mm -hmm. because he's not ever gonna say things straight out right. where you're like, okay, I get it. I had to read the lyrics a couple times where I was like, I don't really, I don't really get it. <laughs> I don't really get it. Yeah. You don't have any? You don't like the yeah, John Alvin? Disrespect. I, 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 said I, I, I said I'll be disrespectful. You got one. one. That John Alvin is hard though. Uh, East. El Toro Combo Mill. <laughs> <laughs> and 4N. I got a Matoon, a Tisk Tisk, and 74. I'm gonna say Tisk Tisk, uh, Matoon, and 4N. Earl, if you watch it, um, this new version of you, man, it's, just, it's not for me, man. Um, and, and it is has a lot to do with the production. Like I kept saying throughout the uh, review, it's not that you're bar less. Like, obviously, you got bars, it's just. I'm not connected with the music overall. Do you think he's really like garnering new people off of this? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, you know, then, then you're accomplishing what every artist should set out to accomplish is, you know, keep the people that they have happy 
and garner new fans. And if you're doing that, by all means, continue to do that. But this shit ain't connecting with me. Earl, I I, man, I think um, you're truly making the music that you want to make, obviously. And um, and I don't think it's coming at a a, a detriment um, to you, uh, based on what uh, they just discussed about you picking up new fans. Um, I do think it's possible because FIFO do like you as an artist that the fan base that likes some of your older material may feel somewhat alienated. But um, but overall, I like the fact that you know you're push pushing your music, your style to the edge without fully fully jumping over yet. I think you're almost there, but you haven't completely <laughs> leaped over yet. And um, and I can appreciate you know you taking that artistic approach. Um, that you're getting your thoughts and feelings out on paper to help, you know, deal with uh, the things that you're going with. So um, just keep doing your thing, man, and just keep rapping well and, and putting out good music. Yeah, Irv, you're watching. Um, yeah, I didn't, like, love it or love it or hate it, hate it, too. I was kind of, like, in the mid area because, like I said before, I feel like... I feel like you left me incomplete, like with this project. Like it, it didn't, it didn't sound very finished. I feel like um, it sounded rushed. But even though you still kind of conveyed your thoughts and your feelings out in a lot of these tracks, I still feel like I just like, I just needed more. I don't, I can't ex really explain what that more I needed. But it just, I just feel like you just wasn't, you wasn't in your good pocket with this project. Um, from the reasons why I didn't like it, and the reason why I liked it is, of course, it's just like you still you know rapping good the bars is definitely there the writing is there it's just it just don't sound like you in, in your pocket but um and the beats then i mean besides east <laughs> that's the only one that really got on my nerves i mean the, the beats the production area didn't really bother me that much either i was kind of expecting you to kind of go over some crazy weird, sh weird shit and hopefully sound good over but it just sounded incomplete to me so yeah uh earl i don't have a lot to say here man do your thing do what you want to do um you shouldn't really concern yourself too much with how people receive it if you're not really making music for other people. If you're making it for yourself and you feel like this is your best foot forward, then cool. For me personally, if you give a fuck, um, this was rather meh for me. Um, I would definitely like to see you continuing on this path of experimenting with your sound, but I'm a fan of your rapping, so I would like to be more intrigued by the way you rap as well as how you rap. So yeah, this was kind of middle ground for me. I don't think I'll be returning to this very much. Other people may disagree and that's great, but um, yeah, keep doing what you do, man. And um, most of all, man, for your mental health, I hope you're doing well, because it doesn't sound yeah. like you are here, yeah. but hopefully this is kind of in a past thing and you're kind of moving forward in a more positive direction. Yeah.